Broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Freedom Radio on 107.7 FM, Baghdad. For those of you who don't already know, I quit the job at the law firm and I'm now working for a private security company in Iraq. I'm on a six on, three off rotation. Six weeks on, three weeks off. The contract is huge. 200 men doing close protection tasks or PSD as the Americans call it. There are swarms of other firms of private contractors all over the place. Some complete cowboy outfits. But this one is fairly sharp, so I'm not too worried about getting killed. I'm currently tasked to the Baghdad office working out of a villa in the Green Zone, where the CPA, that's the Coalition Provisional Authority, has set up shop. The city on the whole is in ruins, but it doesn't seem all that dangerous right now. Allahu Akbar! <laughs> Bush has created the ultimate Wild West scenario in Iraq. If you've got a gun and you're for hire, there's, there's work for you. A mercenary is somebody who goes and fights and gets paid for it. Private military firms are the corporate evolution of the age-old mercenary trade. If someone wants to go and overthrow a despot government, they're going to be hard pushed to get the right type of guys, because most of those guys are actually working in Iraq. You put civilian contractors, guns, drugs, diamonds, arms embargoes, gold in the same scenario, you can mix that up into quite a nice little recipe for a disaster. The CPA specifically stated that contractors don't fall under Iraqi law. If you look at it from the Iraqi point of view, that means that contractors can operate with impunity. I would not work for a criminal entity, and obviously that it's my call whether that entity is criminal or, or, or not. You tell people you yell inch it, you know, back. If they don't see the gun... You may have to make contact with that vehicle to let it know that it needs to move out of the way. If they don't stop, then the second burst goes into the engine. If they continue to come, then the third one goes into the driver. Did you hit his car or did you shoot in front of him? I shot in front of him. It may have fucking ricocheted and hit his car, but... I do nothing different than does anybody when they go work for IBM or any other corporation in the world. Is that corporation doing a service or a disservice to society? And if you believe they're doing a disservice and you still work for them, what does that make you? War is a game. It's the ultimate game. There's nothing to touch it. <laughs>